Hey everyone, welcome to the UARC Live for Leadership. Uh, my name's Maggie. I am a hall director for Adohi Hall. We are currently in the student leadership office located in the university housing office. Um, today we're just going to be talking about the different leadership organizations we have here in housing um, and a couple of our staff members who you guys will see around campus. Nice. And um, I'm Christopher behind the camera and let us know where you're from and let us know uh, what excites you about being here on campus. Yeah, Maggie, please take it away. Okay, um, well, I'm actually gonna pass it over to Marquise yeah. um, and let him introduce himself. Hey, Marquise. Hi, everyone, I'm Marquise. I'm the new GA for student leadership. So I'll be around and I'm also learning as well. So if you guys have any questions or you wanna stop by the desk to come say anything, my desk is here in the office. So you can always come by and say hi. Very cool, Thank nice you. to meet you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. yeah. Alrighty, I'm also now going to pass it over to Nate. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Hey, Marquise, good to see you again. Good to yeah. see you. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey. Uh, my name is Nate. Uh, this upcoming year, I'll be the graduate assistant for Pomfret Hall. Um, I'll be helping with support and supervision of the RAs and then just everybody living in that hall. Um, I'll kick us off with the leadership programs with Residence Interhall Congress, or RIC for short. Uh, with Residence Interhall Congress, um, it is a... the. Organization is for the voice of the on-campus student. It is for students who are interested in student government. Uh, this is more of like a housing student government situation compared to like associated student government or ASG for short. Um, in this organization, uh, reps will have the opportunity to vote on bills and stuff for housing programs and initiatives. Um, they can have a decision uh, with what's happening across campus, where funding goes. Uh, they're given a budget for the entire year. Uh, it's a pretty fun program. Um, I was an executive for two years uh, as the national communications coordinator. And um, they also have a president, vice president, uh, director of internal affairs, uh, and a few other positions um, that are there that are great opportunities for anybody who wants to be involved with them. Um, with this organization, um, you can get involved with it pretty early. So uh, the application for uh, requesting to run to be a representative has already opened, I believe. Uh, I believe, yes, this week it'll open. Um, but it's open until uh, the first week of classes. And after the first week of classes, the election process will begin for each hall. Um, each hall will get to vote on who the representatives are. Uh, so if you're interested in that, make sure you go to the housing website to check out some more information. Yeah, absolutely. And we've had some people already commenting, talking about where they're going to be living, Adohi, Walton Hall, great places to live. Uh, and you said if you want to get into uh, to uh, Residence Center Hall Congress, you just go to some meetings in your building. Is that the best way to get involved or how? Yeah, so Lead Hogs is actually the best way to get involved with Residence Center oh, Hall okay. Congress. Um, if you go to Lead Hog meetings, you should be able to find more information on getting involved with RIC. Well, that brings us to Lead Hogs. <laughs> what a good thing to ask about. So um, what is Lead Hogs? Yeah, so Lead Hogs is a leadership development program offered by housing uh, that offers incoming freshmen and anybody at this university and living in housing the opportunity to develop their leadership skills uh, through attending different sessions, uh, through meeting people, and then just getting involved on campus in general. Right on, right on. And I understand you were a, a lead hog once upon a time. I was. There's actually a picture of me here in the student what? leadership office from uh -huh. my freshman year back in 2019. Very cool. <laughs> 2019, freshman year. Okay. It was. And uh, what would you say is one of the things you got out of the experience? Yeah, so I actually still have some of my best friends. Um, a lot of my best friends I met through the Lead Hogs organization. Mm -hmm. um, I still see them all the time now that I'm a master's student and everything. Um, and I that's probably one of the best things. And then also my connections that I've created. Um, I feel like I've gotten a lot of professional connections um, that'll help me in terms of leadership and then also just working in general once I finish my degrees. Yeah, and I think the website is leadhogs.uart.edu. Uh, uh, yes, is that I right? so. Okay, you can apply there and get in. Um, and then lead hogs tend to arrive right around the very beginning of move-in and then sometimes even help a little bit. Did you help mm -hmm. during move-in? I did. Yeah. Okay. So lead hogs move in, I believe the first or second day of move in. Um, I did that myself. And then pretty much you're just helping around move in wherever they need you to. Yeah. Um, it's a pretty fun opportunity and you get to meet pretty much everybody in your building, depending on how long you help with move in and stuff. So nice. Nice. So definitely a positive experience that you would yes. uh, recommend. I would others. say so. Yeah. Five out of five. I'd say six out of five. Six out of five? Whoa. Okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, there's some events coming up too. I think that first week we uh, talked about uh, field day kicks and giggles. Yes. You know anything about any of those things? Yes. So we have a couple of programs that we offer during A week, which is the week before the first week of classes. Um, I believe it is the 
11th through the 7th. It's right around yeah. there, yeah. Yeah, kind of calendar. right in there. That week right after you move in. Yes. So that Sunday is actually the field day. Mm-hmm. It happens around 5 p.m. Um, I think we're still determining the location, but typically that happens in the Old Main Lawn. Um, so that'll be happening there that Sunday, which I believe is the 11th. Um, that Tuesday, um, August 13th, is the picnic that is happening down in the gardens at 11 a.m. We'll be out there for a few hours and there'll be a couple of food trucks as well as activities for people to do. I mean, then we also have Taste of Fayetteville, uh, which typically happens that Wednesday. I believe Um, so. so. And really well attended. Like restaurants from all over the city come Mm -hmm. and bring food. There's music. It is a really fun atmosphere. We don't just say it because we're housing. Yeah, I would say that one honestly has an attendance of anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 or more. That's right. I think that's right. So, yeah. You'll meet a lot of new people if you come mm-hmm. to that. Um, and then there's a lot of like in-hall social stuff too. Yes. Uh, particularly the first week, but then even throughout the course of the, mm-hmm. the semester. Yeah. yeah. So throughout the semester, lead hogs meet every Monday. Well, almost every Monday. If school is closed or anything, mm-hmm. um, you'll, you'll get notified on when the meetings are. But they pretty much happen every Monday at 6 p.m. for in-halls. Um, once a month, you also meet with all the lead hogs across campus to hear from people all over campus and all over from the community. Um, but yeah. So... Very cool, very cool. So we talked about lead hogs. We talked about RIC. Um, what about NRHH? You yes. want to tell us about NRHH? Or? Yeah. Let's okay. Back over to yeah. Me. Okay. Hello again. Hi. Good to see you. Hey. <laughs> All right. So NRHH is our service and recognition um, organization. It's a national organization. We are part of that. Um, it's pretty small, but it is growing. So we are always looking for new members. Um, but as I mentioned, it's our service and recognition. So we do one service project and one recognition project a month. So our service projects could be trail cleanups, um, anything going on campus that they might need volunteers for. Um, and then our recognition program could be, um, like RA Appreciation Week, our RAs do a lot for us. Um, Our ISA Appreciation Day. um, What's an ISA? So that's, um, those are people in our residence halls that are there to make sure that our facilities look great, they are clean um, and have no issues for you guys. Um, So yeah, that's really the bulk of what we do. We want to acknowledge when people do great things and thank people for everything that they do, um, as well as give back to our community through that service. Excellent, excellent. Um, and there are some opportunities to uh, get care packages and micro fridges. Do you yeah. think about that? Yeah, so some of our big fundraisers, because it is an organization, um, we get funding from the national organization. So we get funding through care packages, which you guys can receive for holidays, um, finals week, I don't know, Thanksgiving, who knows? Exactly, they have a exactly. care package for everything. Um, but all you guys have to do is just fill out a simple order for that. And then our exec team delivers them to the residence halls and your RAs hand those out. Um, and then we also do micro fridges, which mm-hmm. is a big um, fundraiser for us. So that allows you guys to have a fridge and a microwave in your room so you guys can keep nice cold water, soda, whatever you guys want. And it's a, um, it's a huge labor saver too because you don't have yes. to bring one. It's just kind of put there in the room for you. Yes. We would just ask that you talk to your roommate in advance so you don't get two of them. You don't you just, need You two. only need one. <laughs> you only one need per one room. microwave, one fridge. Yeah. Um, so yeah, those are two big ones. And then um, we also do dorm outfittings, which mm-hmm. is you guys can order some dorm items on there. And Today's the deadline. Yes, today is the deadline. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you want to get those orders in, get them in fast. Um, but then you guys will have a nice little care package or items waiting for you when you move in less stress for you guys to have to bring um and yeah it makes moving a lot easier yeah. <laughs> and if you're looking for those links you can go to movein.uart.edu mm-hmm. go to the page called ready to arrive and about halfway down the page you'll see something that says uh care packages micro fridges and you know residence hall uh, uh things click on that and it'll have the links in there yeah our to... website is full of information so much information Cool. So yeah, NRHH and uh, different fundraiser things. How important would you say it is for a student when they first arrive to, you know, find a program or two, find some ways to connect with the community? Yeah. So one thing that we really strive and try to create here in housing is connections. And those connections really happen as soon as you guys walk through our doors. Um, So getting connected in organizations like RIC, Lead Hogs, NRHH, already gives you a group of people that you're connected to. Um, And you might not 
be connected with them any other way. You might not have any other hobbies or anything, but you guys have this one organization to get you guys connected. Um, so I think as a hall director, it's very important. You find your group of people to experience a week with, um, to experience those first couple weeks of classes, which can be stressful as an incoming freshman. So finding a group of people through these organizations is super helpful and they're just great programs because they're leadership. So you can always grow your leadership skills. And in the case of Taste of uh, Fable, great food too. There's yes. really good food. So. Yep. Uh, I believe we have like 15 or so um, restaurants that kind of come and bring different foods. Um, I know Andy's has been there in the past. So you get yeah. some ice cream, um, a couple other Water Whataburger's local... been there in the past for, yep. our, for our Texas folks. Yes. Uh, Cane's, I believe, has also Cane's, been there. Yeah. So if you haven't experienced Cane's, at least go for Cane's because sure. that's a good one. Um, but a lot of other really great local restaurants that... Um, Love to see you guys, love to interact with our students and get you guys out there. Well, if you have any questions for us about uh, programming that we offer uh, and different leadership opportunities, now is the moment. These are the people who know all the answers. So be sure to hit us up with any questions. Uh, would any of our team care to offer any advice for our first year students who are coming in? Got any thoughts? Sure. Yeah. Hello. Once hey. again, it's Marquise. Yes. Um, first year students embrace it it's mm -hmm. gonna be fun it's gonna be a little challenging sometimes but that's a part of college definitely get involved in all different types of groups um just anything like that so just make sure you're not alone um making friends throughout this whole process of college i still have friends from my first day here so wow. definitely making sure you're you know having some friends making new groups and just have fun it's college it's supposed to be fun it's supposed to be a good time but it's also for educational things so yeah, have fun. <laughs> very good, very good. Got any final thoughts for us? I do. I would say one of the biggest things is make sure you're getting out of your room. Mm -hmm. uh, whenever you move in, a lot of people find that habit of like not leaving their rooms unless they're going to class or to work or anything. Um, just try to get out of your room, whether that's going to a social event, whether that's going to study somewhere in public or anything. Um, it's a great way of getting out there, meeting people, making friends, and then also just it, it helps a lot with, with going through college. So. Absolutely. Well, thank you. Thank you so much to all of you for talking to us about this. And we'll continue with our uh, UARC Home Live series uh, next Monday. And if you want to follow up with questions in the, in, the, uh, in the chat, and we will try to answer them as best we can. But you want to wave us out? <laughs>